being a teenager is the worst 30 years of your life. Peer pressure, acne, final exam, seven little tiny hairs on your upper lip. Luckily, the girls never noticed your infantile mustache because they were hypnotized by the fire engine size zit on your forehead. Mr. Titus, look, look. Huh? I'm becoming a man. Yeah, you grew a testicle on your forehead. Nothing destroys a teenager's soul more than love. That's Erin Fitzpatrick. Oh, she's new. Wow, she's too pretty to even look at me. <laughs> but before you know it, you're 20, and you never have to deal with that teenage crap again. Unless you have a teenage niece who lives with you, then her problems become your problems because your girlfriend won't let you keep your niece locked in a cage in the basement. <laughs> Amy, I'm coming in. Hey, hey, you see my green sweatshirt? Hey, 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 that's it, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out, ow, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out, spit them out. Vodka and pills? I told you to stay out of my dad's earthquake kit. <laughs> what are you trying to kill yourself for? Are the kids at school making fun of you? Hon, they're just jealous because they don't have your giant man ears. <laughs> I thought it was because the love of my life dumped me, oh, but now I know it's because of my physical deformities. Thanks, I feel much better. Puppy love? That's what this is about. <laughs> Come here, I can fix that. I mean, you're still gonna have to live with the ear thing, though. <laughs> the only way to connect to a teenager is to become one yourself. No matter how painful it is to access the memories of a twisted and disturbed past. Uh, that hurts. Okay, what a... Oh, hey, not you, man. I left you behind. Ah! This must be heaven, because there's a poster of God. <laughs> hey, you should ask that girl to the prom. Her hair is as pretty as yours. <laughs> no way. And proms are lame, man. If I wanted to dance, I'd just spray a pillow with perfume and dance with it at home. <laughs> Which I don't do. Asked Linda French to the prom. Dude, I heard she's got grass on the infield. <laughs> so, so what did she say? Nothing. I accidentally brushed up against her boob and she smashed me in the head with a typewriter. <laughs> Is there blood? No, no just a ow! Semicolon. <laughs> uh, colon. <laughs> oh my god! It's Aaron Fitzpatrick. Oh. oh, she looks even hotter standing next to those skanks. Oh, gross, Titus, she's smoking. That's so unattractive. Hey, I would pay $100 just to kiss her dead black lungs. <laughs> you gotta go over there and ask her out. Go, go. No, no, dude, no way, man. She's too hot. Why don't I just ask out the bangles? <laughs> Shot, boot, er, doy. <laughs> She has to ask her out. She's all hopped up on the nicotine. Go on, go. Hey. Hi. Uh, 
I'm Christopher Titus. Yeah, I know who you are. You accidentally lit your hair on fire in English class. <laughs> That was no accident. <laughs> I, could, I could really go for the taste of a good cigarette right now. I left mine in my uh, thing. Can I have a puff of yours? Sure. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> so, maybe I'll see you at the prom. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you there. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> My dad said the best way to get a hot girl is to drive up to her in a hot car. He said the second best way is to put your man junk in her egg shack. Nice car. <laughs> Hop in. There's plenty of room. Whoa! Linda. 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 Wait. I have to talk to you. Oh, Linda. Me. Me touching your 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 womanly area. It was an innocent mistake. It's me. I would never do anything to offend. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What comes before part B? Part A. <laughs> oh, 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 my God, Titus. <gasps> what did you do to your dad's car? I just did some donuts behind the donut shop. <laughs> Titus? What? The sign said donuts. I was just following instructions. <laughs> ah! Hey! Dude, I think someone puked in your trunk. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here, man. Dad said night rider, then bed. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Here she comes. Look. Look. Dude, stop it. Dude, stop it. Let me, let me think. Dude, what are you doing? Sorry. Hey. Hi. Hey. Wow, nice car. Yeah. It's 1962 Triumph TR3 convertible. This car right here, ma'am, will go from zero to cool in five point cool seconds. Cool. Yeah, cool. Cool. <laughs> it's cool. 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 Yeah. yeah. I rebuilt the engine myself. While I was smoking delicious cigarettes. <laughs> you know how to rebuild an engine? Cool. I bet you can unhook a girl's bra with one hand. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can do a whole lot of things with one hand. <laughs> Why did you just put a cigarette butt in your mouth? Because I'm a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a ride, cowboy. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, don't go. No, I'll fix it. Watch. <laughs> wow, look. More smoke for our dirty, gnarly lungs. It's like a rock video. Look what you did to my dress! No, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll spray oil all over myself, okay? And then we can wrestle. <laughs> Get away from me! Uh, excuse me, Titus, you fire. Uh, excuse me, please. <laughs> taught me to never give up. And when it comes to women, never take no for an answer. And only sometimes take get off me or I'm calling the police for an answer. I've had enough. I'm suing you for sexual harassment. Well, since you're suing me anyway, how about you show me those sweater puppets? <laughs> so I was, I was wondering that maybe you and I could go out. Are you crazy? Okay, hey, hey, babe. Maybe this summer, I'll pick you up at eight. <laughs> I thought you were cool, but you lied to me. You lied to me about cars. You lied to me about smoking, and I'll bet you're not even a cowboy. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not a cowboy. Could I just have one dance? Slow if possible. I wouldn't dance with you if you were the last man on earth. Cause there'd be no DJs, right? <laughs> I mean, if, if teenagers just killed themselves after they had a bad day, there would be no need for prepubescent semi-homosexual boy bands. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess me and Charlie might end up together after all. There you go. Thanks. Oh, no, thank you for having the courage to let me fix you. Huh? <laughs> hey, no more suicide. No. <laughs> <laughs> Amy! 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 And I say, no! <laughs> Amy! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I tried to kill myself once. Just pick up your paper and go back inside, Phil. You got three minutes. You're holding yourself hostage? Talk or I'll kill me. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, see, Titus? You fixed the car, now you can fix your relationship with Aaron. No. My relationship with Aaron blew a gasket. <laughs> TR3's pain is over. Mine has just begun. Lucky, lucky TR3. I got a copy of the key because my brother's an auto shop TA, and you're my auto shop T and A. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing with my future girlfriend? Oh, we're gonna play truth or boob. I'm gonna choose boob. Something you'll never get to do, Miss Congeniality. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. You know all those times I accidentally brushed up against your boob? Not an accident. Ah -oo, ah -oo, ah -oo, ah -oo. Young love, something I'll never have. <laughs> Dear, whoever finds my corpse in the high school auto shop. Sorry I'm all stiff and gross, but I'm dead. <laughs> er. I killed myself because Aaron Fitzpatrick, the prettiest, nicest girl in the world, crushed my heart in her cold, bare claws. <laughs> but don't tell her I killed myself. Tell her I died in the war. <laughs> I'd like to be cremated and my ashes sprinkled at the Indy 500. <laughs> and put some of them in the winner's jug. So when they guzzle the victory milk, they drink my leg. <laughs> D. 
didn't have to be this way, Aaron. But you hurt me with your head games. <laughs> it's all I get from you, head games. And I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my car without telling me. Didn't you hear me? I'm killing myself. Come on now. Come on. Oh, Dad, you turned the wrong way. Ow, ow, ow. No, I'm not. You wrecked my car. <laughs> yeah. Well, Aaron crushed my heart, so crush my head and make your memory spew out my ear. Son, son. I've seen Erin, and she is way out of your league. Now, when I go into a bar, I don't go straight for the ten. I go for the six and drink till she's an eight. <laughs> Christopher, listen to me. Your problem is you're an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's not my only problem. <laughs> Son, I was distraught over a girl once. I tried to drink myself to death, but then I realized that would take me a lifetime. Here's to death. <laughs> so I need to search my life for something that will slowly kill me? Yes, you need to search your life and find your own beer. <laughs> well, I found her. Her name is Erin. She's 12 ounces of crisp... Amber brew in a cool, curvy bottle. <laughs> My name is Christopher. <laughs> and I am an Aaron O'Holly. <laughs> Dad, please press that button for me. Christopher, she is just a girl. No, she's not. She's everything. You're too old to understand that. You know what you need to do? Take a minute and listen to Four and a Four. <laughs> well, here is something that I understand. You are a loser. So go ahead. Kill yourself. Then you'll never get Aaron. And we'll write on your tombstone, here lies the wussy that just gave up before he got the girl. Hmm? And then we'll invite Aaron and her new boyfriend over to have sex on your grave. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me tell you <laughs> Maybe I won't kill myself then, huh? I'm going to stay alive for as long as I live. Yeah, and I'm gonna get Aaron. Yeah, and, and her and I are gonna have sex on my grave. Charlie will be having sex with someone else on your grave. What the hell are you talking about? Amy, Charlie's here to see you. Oh, now we're all happy, aren't we? Well, wouldn't you be embarrassed, huh? Charlie walked in and you were hanging up there all blue and bloody. Wouldn't your face be red? <laughs> Belt. Oh. Amy. Charlie. <laughs> I got your note. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, hey, Charlie. Amy. 
mean, she's a... Hey, that's a trick name. <laughs> wow, that means that you're... A big dyke? Uh, I, I, I was going to say lesbian. <laughs> but if that's what you kids are saying... Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Look at the cute girls going to the mall together to meet boys. Minds me of me at that age. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. have one dance slow if possible hey you can have as many dances as you want <laughs> honey hmm amy's a lesbian <laughs> Being a teenager is the worst 30 years of your life. But it all changes after that. You get a great car, a great job, you got a wife, kids, you got your health, but then your company is sold out from under you, your stocks tank, your wife's sleeping with the gardener, and your teenage daughter is pregnant. And you notice that you have a prostate so hard you can actually take a hammer to it. <laughs> hey, not one zit. <laughs> Funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.